Red Feather from Grepax. In this credit video, we will be showing you three ways to use the credit fill pattern function. Open credit, create a new canvas, decide on a color for a background, and place it on the canvas. Once this is done in Krita, still being on the bucket tool, go to tools and options. Scroll down and put a check mark in the use pattern box. Then go to the Krita title bar, clicking on the fill pattern function. Then choose a pattern you would like to use and off click to return to the canvas. Go back to the credit tools and options, taking the check mark out of the use pattern box. Now, if I go to the credit color picker, choosing another color, you will notice I cannot manipulate the pattern as it changes the whole canvas. So, let us undo these changes so as we only have our Krita background color. Once this is done, go to Layers, clicking the plus sign, so as to add a Krita layer. Once this is done, still being on the Bucket Tool, click on Tools and Options, placing the check mark in the Use Pattern box. Then, go to the Krita title bar, clicking the Fill Pattern function. Once you have chosen the credit pattern to use, off-click to return to the canvas, clicking on the canvas for placement. Then go back to the credit tools and options, taking the check mark out of the Use Pattern box. Now that our credit pattern is on its own layer, Go to the color picker, choosing the color you would like to use. And notice, with the bucket tool, we can color segments individually if we desire. For our next examples, let me just shut this credit eyelet off and create a new layer. In order to keep it simple, I will add some credit text but we'll just use the number one. You could use the text you would like. Once you have created the, your text, make any necessary adjustments like size, color, and or centering. Once this is done in Krita, go to Layers, right-click the vector layer that holds the text, scroll down to Layer Styles and click. Once the Layer Styles window appears, scroll down to the Krita Bevel and Emboss, highlight and put a check mark in the box. Then scroll down to Texture, highlight and put a check mark in the box. Notice the Krita function part of the window to the right, where it says Pattern. You can use any of these patterns you would like. Now let us move to our next example. First remove these check marks, then scroll down to Krita Pattern Overlay. Highlight and placing a check mark in the box. Once you have chosen a Krita pattern for your text using Layer Styles, click OK to return to the canvas. I hope you have enjoyed this credit tutorial and found it helpful in some fashion. And if so, then why not give this video a like? And while you're at it, why not become a subscriber and ring that bell in order to be notified your way of newly released videos. <laughs> I mean, ladies and gentlemen, after all, it is free.
The beginning and the end of this video has been provided by none other than Alex Abayu one Thank you in advance. I am out.